G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. All right, so I've got uh, a stack of hats out. I've got uh, one of my Paperboy hats on, and I'm really feeling the vibe to start making some videos again. You know, I've it's making videos for YouTube has been a big hop or big part of the hobby for me for years and years. So uh, 2009 was the first year I uploaded a hobby-related video. You know, before that I'd spent a couple of years. I think since 2006 or whatever. You know, making, um, <clears throat> way back then they had uh, video responses where you could film a response and post it back to somebody's video. Um, but 2009 was the first year that I started making hobby related videos and over the last, God, five years maybe? Six years? I don't know, ever since the bunker closed in 2012, I think it was, or 2011 or whenever it was. Jesus, that was nine years ago! I really haven't done a lot on YouTube. You know, I had a couple of really furious years where I was, you know, in a very different mindset, but, you know, made loads and loads of videos. I'm really missing it, so it's time to get back to it. Um, so here we go. I thought I'd put up a little update on some of the things I've been working on. Here on the table, I've got some of my Dark Age figures. Um, these are some Saxons from Crusader Miniatures. I picked up a bunch of figures from uh, War and Peace here in Australia when they were having a clear out a while ago. I've got loads of Dark Age figures sitting around. You know, it's always been a period that I've been interested in, but never really, you know, concentrated on. I don't think I've ever actually played, you know, like a mass battle game with like rank units like you see here. Um, I've played a lot of Saga, you know, first edition. Have never played second edition Saga. That's a different story. Um, but, uh, you know, I've had these figures sitting around for ages. Now, my good friends, Ara and the crew from Mana Press, and I know, I know a bunch of other people who play, um, you know, big battle, you know, historical games are really into Dark Ages or, or, the, or the, you know, the early Middle Ages. Um, so I thought, look, let's sit down and paint some up. So I got some of these guys done um, the other week. You know, very, very simple jobs. These are just uh, some archers. You know, I've got a big problem with, you know, differentiating you know, at least for simple figures like these, you know, they're very, very simple figures, great fun to paint. Um, a big problem with identifying, you know, who's a Viking, who's a Saxon, who's a Norman. Um, obviously there are some differences when you really start to look at shields and all that sort of stuff, but for simple sort of figures, like these ones from Crusader, you know, these guys, you know, I could run them as Vikings, I could run them as Saxons, you know, whatever. Um, I, I don't, I can't seem to, you know, tell the difference. And even when I look at the Crusader website, there just seems to be very minor differences, like in the hat. Like some of these guys here, uh, is, there, is there one guy here? Um, maybe not on this stand, but perhaps on the other one. Um, let's have a look on this stand here, on this group of figures here. You know, this guy here at the front here, he's got that like little peak cap. That seems to come from the Norman set. Um, and anyway, so I don't know. I don't know if these are Saxons or Vikings or Normans or for me they're just going to be middle age figures, you know, dark ages, it, you know, not really a historical buff, um, you know, I'm, I'm a gamer really. So that's why these guys have got very simple paint jobs, great fun to paint. I painted up 49 figures over a weekend a couple of weeks ago, you know, I sat down on a Friday evening after everyone went to bed and started painting. I probably stayed up most of the night on the Friday like I do when I get into these painting rhythms, you know, like I painted a whole bunch of moderns last year. I painted 62 moderns over a weekend. Simple, simple paint jobs. We'll get those out and see those in a different video. Um, and just, and you know, just went for it. Simple, simple base coats and, you know, just a wash. I might pick out some highlights and stuff as we go on. Um, but, uh, you know, for me right now, you know, it's enough. You know, simple paint jobs is, you know, really all we need. Um, I need to finish off this. Uh, this is a, just a unit of, uh, of, of Saxon Warriors. Um, I know there's a lot of axes in there, but there's, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six guys in this unit here that are supposed to have spears. Now, I, a lot of these figures don't come with spears. You need to buy them separately. Um, I don't know who, maybe Northstar, make those little packets of steel spears in 50 mil and 100 mil spears, so for spears and pikes. But they're really, really thin, and I just don't like them. So I'm thinking about what to do. I have watched the video from Footsaw. They've got a great video on how to make your own spears. Look up their channel um, from Footsaw Miniatures on how to make your own spears out of florist wire. But the only florist wire I've got, it's got that bloody green 
you know, casing, that plastic casing on it. And by the time you take that out, the wire rod that's in there is even thinner than those little toothpicks from uh, um, Northstar. Um, so I need to try and find some sort of metal that I can, you know, file down or shape on the Dremel and then crush with a pair of pliers to make that spear point. Um, you know, so it's not just a, you know, a straight rod. It straights and then flanges out a little bit and you get that spearhead on it. And in Futsal's videos, they do, in their video, they do that by pinching the top of the wire with a pair of pliers. But, you know, the steel uh, wire that I've got is just way too hard. I can't do that. So I'm going to have to find an alternative. Um, because after I painted this unit, you know, I was really excited. I just did a simple job on the shields. I didn't want to use, you know, uh, transfers from um, Little Big Man Studios because they just look too fanciful. You know, again, I'm not a historical person. I'm not sure if that's, you know, accurate or not. I'm assuming it would be, you know, they're used by so many people. Um, you know, every time you see something on Facebook or a forum, someone's like, oh, did you hand paint that shit? Oh, no, decals or transfers from, you know, Little Big Man Studios. But I just wanted to go for something simple. Now, this unit, the main base color is blue. And then I've highlighted that with a, a bunch of different colors. I've airbrushed that blue color on, and then I, I hand painted the other colors and, uh, you know, each of the units I do, I'll do a different, you know, base color. Um, and eventually they'll all just blend and tie in together. Um, so I need to get some spears into this guy, into this unit. And that's really what's holding me back. I was super excited to continue working on um, more of these figures. I literally have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. Um, but the fact that I didn't have the spears sort of you know, held me back because I got to the point where like, that unit's not finished. I understand I haven't finished the bases and stuff, um, but that unit's not finished. And I just, you know, got a little bit sort of, um, you know, demotivated and, uh, you know, didn't continue. So anyway, I did a little command stand here. Just uh, again, three guys here. This guy at the front is a cool little character figure, but you know, again, he's got an ax, which, you know, I think is very Viking-ish. Um, you know, Saxons seem to, um, I, I did want to do an Anglo-Saxon army, um, and obviously, you know, they use predominantly spears and uh, swords, but, you know, so many of the figures that I've got have got axes, you know, from that lot that I bought from uh, um, War and Peace, there was all sorts of stuff in there, and I just opened them all up, put them into a box and said, these are the Dark Age figures. So I'm just going to use them as Dark Age figures, I'm really not fussed. Anyway, so I did this little command stand, um, you know, with a, you know, some sort of general or character, and he's got two guys at the back here. Um, I think if I hold it up like this, you might be able to see they've got their hands here for putting some spears in, and obviously I haven't done the base, uh, even the base coat on this base yet. You know, like I said, I got demotivated. I couldn't put the spears in there. I was like, what's the point in continuing? I can't finish this. Um, but, you know, great, fun, simple little figures to paint. I think these three figures probably took about, you know, 30 minutes to paint, you know, very simple jobs, you know, everything was undercoated with an airbrush and then, you know, certainly for these figures, you know, predominantly chain mail and metal helmets, you know, just a quick dry brush and, you know, pick out some, you know, details and, you know, there we go. Um, so, you know, these are the Dark Age figures that I've been working on the last couple of weeks. I'm really happy. I've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them to paint. If I can just find that wire or some other sort of solution for a spear that's not as thin as those ones from North Star then I can get cracking on this project. I've got loads of stuff I've been working on over the years. Um, you know, like I said at the beginning, uh, I'm really feeling excited about, you know, getting back and sharing my hobby with people. It's been a big part of my hobby is, you know, sharing. You know, that's why I opened a retail store so I could have better communications with people and interact with people on a more social level and, you know, talk to the customers that have come in the stores. That's why I made videos for YouTube. You know, that's why I run, you know, Knights of Dice now is to share my enthusiasm and my passion for the hobby with people. And I think the video component is really what's been missing, both personally here, you know, where I'm talking about, you know, my dark age collections and, you know, modern figures and all that sort of stuff, but also certainly from a Knights of Dice perspective. Um, I've got a, a nice setup here at home now. I need to get the setup at the studio replicated because dragging all this stuff back and forward between home and the studio just meant nothing was getting done anywhere. You know, I've got another camera sitting out over here and you can see there's two cameras up here. I've got lights everywhere. There's a third camera down here and that's all set up now at home. I've got this stuff here. I want to take more of this stuff to the studio so, you know, I can set it up. Because once it's set up, it's very easy. Just click, 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 record, and then go through and edit all the footage. Um, 
So I'm excited. I'd love to do more. I'm really looking forward to doing more. Um, and as I spoke about in my video about uh, Twilight uh, the other day, um, I've got lots of painting that I need to do there. So we'll probably see a few more videos of what I've been working on, uh, miniatures that I've finished, armies I've painted and all that sort of stuff. And, you know, I don't know if I'll do any, you know, painting videos. You know, maybe that might be possible with, you know, so many cameras and all that sort of stuff. I don't, I don't know. But uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in again, guys. I'm really looking forward to doing more videos. Hopefully, you know, even some terrain tutorials. I've started collecting bits of recycling again. Got a couple of tubs sitting around now. Um, so maybe we'll see some straight off the table. I haven't done one of those for 10 years. Just put the cameras on and hot glue some stuff together and, you know, have some fun. Um, anyway, there we go. I've rambled on for long enough. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll, I'll catch you next time. See ya.